recover. I suppose how are you affected by how the weekend went, not just the result, but the manner of it with your great mate one day? Yeah, I think sometimes things happen in life and there's more important things than football and what happened to one day was extremely disappointing for him as a person. Um, but knowing one day's character and what he would want for the team because he's such a team orientated person, he'll want us to move on from the situation and if we can all play like he does and work hard and put in challenges like he does, he does all those one percenters for the team, um, we'll be in good stead for the rest of the season. How do you go over that injury sort of stuff? One, could you sort of hear it? Two, did you look over there and go, geez, that's not the thing I want to look at? Like, how are you at all? Yeah, it was, I was very close to it. I originally thought it was just shin guard on shin guard, but um, I think all the players on the field soon realised the extent of the injury. Um, it wasn't a nice situation and it's never nice to see anyone, let alone one of your close teammates on the field in pain. Um, but yeah, the way, the way he handled it is a credit to his character. And um, yeah, he's already in good spirits and sending us positive messages. And that's just the sort of person he is and the influence he has on our group. It sounds like that, that, that's exactly what he's done. He's taken it as positively as you can and he's you know, upbeat, which is remarkable. Yeah, that's, that's just him as a person, no matter what situation. Um, happens around the training ground and on, and on the field on the weekend. He's always that person. He has a little quotation. He says, it's enjoy the life. And that's been his words. He's um, yeah, making the most of a, of a bad situation. But like I said, he's uh, more concerned about us. And I think there was a comment even when he was uh, on the ground in that pain, obviously, Harvey was quite distraught. And he said to the physio, he said, leave me, I'm fine. Go check on Harvey. And that just sums him up as a person. Is he the type of guy, like, I know he's getting on, but, and it's up to him, but could you pick him to come back because he's so positive that he could make a miraculous recovery one day playing here? If there's anyone who can do it, it's one day. Um, and there's so many things, us as a playing group, even me, um, getting a little bit older, but the young boys especially, they can take from, from one day and how he trains every single day and um, the effort he puts in and his positive outlook on life um, to not take things for granted because in a split second, something can be taken away from you. So um, I'm sure he'll still continue to teach us lessons in the rehab and the way he goes about it. And I'm looking forward to um, seeing him recover well. And, and yeah, who knows what's, a, what's ahead for him. Who can fill that role in defensive midfield for you guys going forward? I think we've had, um, well, firstly, no one can replace one day. He's, I'm not going to say someone who's going to step in, but um, when something negative happens, there is opportunities for other people. And I think we've seen the emergence of Ethan Allegic this season. Um, he's been doing a great job, works extremely hard, great attitude. Um, and also Louis Dorigo, who um, likes to play as that holding midfield position and in the last couple of weeks also been doing really well. And then obviously accompanied by the experience of Isaias. Um, and, you know, we still got young boys. We saw glimpses of Johnny Yule on the weekend. So, yeah, there's going to be opportunities there for players and it's up to them now to make the most of their opportunities and, and take it. Have you been a little bit cursed as a team this year, whether it be cards or whether it be injuries? The team has been nowhere near the same every single week. Or what if you stepped under a ladder or broken a black cat in front of a mirror or something? I'm not sure. But, um, but the group is resilient and we will um, face whatever is, is challenged to us. And yeah, it's, you know, it's been difficult, I think more so for Cole to try and juggle each week um, different situations. But as players, like I said, when things happen, it presents opportunities to people and, and to young players. And now it's up to them to step up and, and take any opportunity that comes their way. I think seven points between second and 11th, it's, it's so tight. So <coughs> all games are important, particularly on your home patch. Definitely. Um, yeah, each game from here on in is very important. Um, yeah, we're sitting in the top six and we want to finish as high up as we can. And um, home games are very important. We've had a good run here. Uh, our fans have been fantastic this season. The numbers they've turned out in every single week. And yeah, Brisbane this Saturday night, we hope it's exactly the same because uh, their energy gives us energy. And hopefully we can create a bit of a fortress here.